Chris, thank you. Today we are expecting an update from Governor Cooper on face masks here in North Carolina. Wake up Charlotte's Kendall Morris joins us now and Kendall. This comes as the CDC now wants all of us vaccinated or not to wear face masks again indoors. Yes, yeah, Sarah, and at this point, we don't know exactly what Governor Cooper is going to say, whether he's going to require everyone to mask back up, but it is something here that Mecklenburg County health officials are watching closely, especially as our local COVID metrics continue to rise. Mecklenburg County leaders urging the public to protect themselves and others with a mask. Masking is a, is a tool to protect ourselves, but also uh, protect us from, from getting other people sick. As the highly contagious Delta variant sweeps across the state of North Carolina, making up more than 70% of new cases here, health officials say fully vaccinated people can still have a breakthrough case. Even though they are having milder symptoms or no symptoms at all, they may still be spreading the virus. And so um, that's one of the main reasons we're asking them to wear a mask is so they are not spreading virus to other people if they might be infectious. Mecklenburg County not ready to mandate masks, instead calling on businesses to implement their own policies. It's a way of protecting their own employees so that they can keep their businesses open, but it's also a way of, of protecting their patrons and the community at large. It's why the Evening Muse in Noda isn't taking any chances requiring anyone who comes inside to wear a mask regardless of vaccination status. Our business, we were closed for 421 days. Something as simple as putting a mask on and asking our, asking our guests, staff, performers to do the same, it's not that much. It's not that much to ask. Health officials urging people to do their part and wear a mask, encouraging more people to get the vaccine to get out of this pandemic. Governor Cooper's news conference is set for 3 p.m. Mecklenburg County has previously fallen in line with whatever guidelines the state has put in place. Live in Uptown, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.